Welcome, everybody. Uh, this is my most favourite day of Toy Fair, in a sense. I feel it's uh, a great thing when people think about joining the toy industry and making it their sort of destination career. At the moment, it's very important for us to try and get a placement and making sure that our portfolios are very eye-catching. So it's great to see people who have been in the same shoe as us at university trying to get a grad role and get into the industry as quickly and as effectively as possible. It's great inspiration. We've got three great speakers. We've got uh, David Fryback to talk about IP. Generally, what I'm always trying to say to young designers is how you get the right balance between having something that is innovative and creative, but also something that is commercial. To understand a bit better about, um, about patents and, and trademarks and how to protect my ideas. I never really knew much about that before, so it was really useful. And then we also have um, a representative from, uh, from Vivid, we have James. Yeah. Particularly in R&D, we take on people who are enthusiastic and are driven and are talented. There's no good having people with amazing skills that don't get on with everybody. I thought it was really nice there was like ex-students, because being a student myself, I was quite confused with what I would do later on. And like, being in toy design might be really interesting. I could see how like they're really like passionate about it and like how much work they had to do and I was like, oh god, I've got more effort to put in. I need to really get, get ahead now. It was really interesting. I never really knew much about the toy industry. Um, so it was nice to get the insight and also because I'm applying to do a placement year as well, it was nice to get a bit of help to do with the portfolios and where to look and stuff like that. We've also got Sammy, um, who we first met many years ago because she, she came to one of these events. And I look forward, hopefully one day, that maybe one of you might come and be giving a talk about your current career in the toy well, industry. You need to show that you're diverse. The product design industry really covers a broad range of skill sets, so it's, it's good to be open-minded and kind of learn what you enjoy. Four years ago, I came to this same event as you are now, sat in the same talk. And uh, I'm hoping, as you will be, I was quite inspired and almost subconsciously decided, yes, this is what I want to do and this is the industry that I want to work in. I really want to get into toy design because it's just designing everything, really. There was a lot of their experiences and it was good to hear what they did to get in and hopefully I can uh, copy that. 